Right, that's it. I'm going to a car boot sale. Yeah. Rick, see you later. How much is the phone? Quid. Uh, and what about the speaker? Yeah. I'll take these two for sure. So three quid, yeah? Yep. Yeah. Nice, well, I appreciate that. Thank you. Let's see what you got on there. How much is the PlayStation? Yeah. Any issues with it? No, he's just got many boxes. I'm not begging. I'm not Just a doorbell kit. Yeah, is that right? Yeah, thank you. Give it a risk. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Look at them. Jazz, isn't Would a pound take it? Yeah. Yeah, thank you. No idea. I don't even know if one of my heart rate is. I might die. Yeah, check it out, mate. I don't. I'll have a live until it's over. Wait until the end goes pop. Every day on Instagram. What's your name on there? Yeah. How are you doing, man? You alright? Yeah, I don't remember. Yeah, how are you doing? You alright? You spawned this here? That's before. Cool. No, I've never found I'd love, I'd love to find a last, a last little patty in my size. Yeah. How much are these ones? How much are these, please? Five pounds. Five. 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 Nothing spectacular, mate. What about you? That's the full, that's the full, isn't it? Oh, yeah, there's a bloke up there. He brings loads of good shoes every week. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah as well. Right, I'll, um, I'll get all the good stuff. Hello, boy. I love that. Thank you. You're trying to entertain good, easy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, good, man. You found much? Not a lot, no. Not a great deal. Massive, isn't it? Loads of people there. Isn't it? Loads today, man. Uh, yeah, this one. That's a nice one. That's uh, 1926, I think. What the thing is, or something like that. Nice box, but worth a pound. Two quid. Yeah. Not that much about it. Looks all right. What else do you specialise in? That's it, mate. Tools. Just tools. Tools and take a bit of a gamble <laughs> on whatever else you can. My, yeah. fr my friends up here from Northamptonshire. Oh really? Yeah, I went down. Yeah, I've sent them off on his way. I went, went down there yesterday. That's all right. Nothing special. Yeah. You going talking after? Yeah, I think it will. Depending on how cranky he gets. We're going to do... Biden for a hot chocolate. Yeah, makes sense. I'll Man, catch up with you, dude. Yeah. Here. How much are the boots? Three pounds. Three? What size are they? Uh, 10, 11. I think I'd buy them if it was a size two at, two, at three pounds. Uh, is that one two? Are you three pounds? How much is the cap? Oh, that one pound. The cushion is a two pound. I'll wash off. <laughs> much appreciated, I appreciate that. How much is the folder? How much is the folder? Can I have a look at it, please? Yeah, I'll take that off you, mate. Thank you, my friend. You. Appreciate it. You too. How much is this one? What about this one? Seven on that one. How much is that? Two pounds. Three. Three. Two pound, take it. Yeah, go for it. Give it a bash at that. I've got two, two, two things there. Okay. I appreciate that. Thank you ever so much. 
It's not great, so I'll never see that forkwood again. <laughs> Rachel, any this is idea? Just a multi USB any? port. I have no idea, Annie. What's that? Oh, it's like a. Um, like a USB multi port thing. Yeah, charger thing. And these things come with it so you can change the. the yeah, colour. it's just yeah. supposed to be funky or something. Yeah. So that's all for design, I suppose, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, there you go. Okay, how much is it? Pound. There you go. <laughs> Take that pound back. Thank you. <laughs> I don't mind buying things that I don't know about if it's cheap. Maybe. I don't think I'm going to last that long. Thank you very much. How much is it? Five. Five. How much is the t-shirt? That's that, that's because you saw it fit me, didn't you? Clean. What about the jacket? I want a pie for that. Sort of. Yeah, I've got a leather jacket, a suede jacket there. It's close looking, isn't it? Size is that large, it's too small for me. Large. Too small for me, larges. Would you take six for the pair? No, it's too early for. I know, oh, what is it? Five? No, yeah. that's only a pound for that then. Seven? It's a pound off. Thank you, my lovely. Appreciate it. it, it without being disrespectful, is it like your sons or something? Yeah, my sons. Yeah. I've got um, a couple of suits here. You don't need a suit, do you? No. <laughs> yeah, I've got four sons. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That was bigger than better condition. If that was real, it's a 300 pound jumper. I know. It's a shame. How much is the jacket? Is this your stuff? For the jacket, yeah? Right, we are at car boot number two. We've just done boredom, which was quite good. Ricky, his name's Ricky, as well. That's Rick, now, mate. Yeah, camera shy. Uh, he's absolutely filled my car. So I'm um, so happy for you, Rick. No yeah. Stone Island, though. No Stone Island, yeah. Picked up a nice stony yesterday. I don't know what you saw. Right, so we're going to do this with my Alton now, and then I'm going to take him to Thatcham. And then, oh, you found a spot. You... And then we're going to go. What's that on? All right, mate. Let me see then. Uh, Ricky, Ricky Giant Big T. These look a bit dodged to me, mate. Fucking across the spread, mate. No, they're not their wheel. Decent, man. Hey, do you know that, yeah? That was the same lady I got these. Yeah? Cause she, oh, so you got there just before me then? Yeah. Cause she had like fake stuff. I bought the jacket as well. How much is the snares? <laughs> oh, sorry, I said I had that. You look past the pigs. Mm, Are they going to be sores? Too small. Too small. <laughs> <laughs> I'll walk off. I need, a, <laughs> I need, I need 11s. Oh, you're like gosh. Uh, yeah, you're like a How much is this one? That's four pounds, that is. <laughs> four? Yeah. Yeah? Fit me, yeah? Yeah, colour as well. <laughs> Your colour. <laughs> It is my colour, I love pink. Now, hold on a minute, I've busted you there. I didn't say I'd wear it. <laughs> I, said, I, said... <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> what have you got? Oh, that Cassio thing, was it two quid? Bargain, isn't it? It's probably only worth time. Go on, go, go look at your shoes, boy. Are they SBs again? You don't miss, do you? He's... You swing and you don't miss. I was going to say 15, but yeah, go on 13. 13, 13 yeah. yeah, we'll do that, thank you. Then they're, they're, they're out my way. I don't know if you can see my phone down there, but <laughs> that's where it stays. I end up leaving it behind. I don't care for 13 quid. Yep. What's the worst, yeah. that, what's the worst that can happen? If I get it wrong, I'll put it on. Thingy. Have you got a tenner? Because uh, I, I, I can give you, I can give you 23. Uh, is 
and there's your 10. Lovely, okay. thank you, appreciate that. That's good. Thank you very much. Right, appreciate you. I'm going to buy stuff for myself. I've bought a patio, I've bought a cartridge for the patio, plugs for the house, and a coat for her. Oh, what, have I got? what have I got? <laughs> How much is that? Um, about five pounds for that. Would you take three on it, mate? Uh, yeah, I'll take yeah? three on it. Thank you. What do you want to do with your bag then? Um, tennis for that. Here you go, mate. I appreciate Cheers. that. And how much is your projector? Uh, that and the three. 30 quid. 30 quid. Rick, I was looking at some plugs earlier. I sat down there, put my phone down. I walked off. I didn't realize I got to another stall. Oh, I had to run back and have a quick look. Um, that with the screen? Yeah, that and that. I remember that, that. Yeah, Optoma. Yeah, the one you can connect up to a laptop and... The Optoma doesn't mean it's not good though, do you know what I mean? It's just I've never heard of the brand, that's all. Yeah. Did you buy it, did you buy it from new? Um, or not? I think the stepfather bought, bought it. Stepfather bought it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I need to see how much the bulbs are. Yeah, let me see how much the bulbs are. If, if, when, when was it last used, you know? Um, don't know. Three or four years ago. Oh, so. okay. Take six quid on your DVD. Uh, yeah, I'll take six quid on it. Uh, I'll take a punt on 20. Yeah. Did you do I'll 20? Take, yeah, I'll yeah. Take Thank you. I'll put it in the bag with Oh, no. <laughs> you see, yo, I should have let, let you take that one, shouldn't I? Yeah. I should have let you have it. I'll almost give you a fiver for it. I'll take a punt on 20. Okay. No worries, man. Thank you. Yeah. I spent too much on this stool already. We've got to take that now. There you go. Yeah, right. Did you buy the DVD player, Rick? Right? Yeah. It's been used, hasn't it? How much is that one? Um, was it, win was it Windows 7? What's Windows 7? 98? 99? 2000? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. It's not Windows 7. What about 2010? 2010. I love Google. That's everything you want. I don't know. How much is your steering wheel? Steering wheel, I'm doing for about 20 quid for that. 20? I'm quite happy to take 10 as well. Would you take. <sighs> Would you do 12 for the both? Yeah, okay, Thank you. Oh, there's an old pound there. I've been, I've been done. Someone's given me an old one. I bet it was you. <laughs> Money messing. But I'll take that back to the bank when I go to the bank. <laughs> Much appreciated, my friend. Uh, I'm going to go back to the car. Drop this off. Have you finished it there or not? If not, if you not, carry on. If you carry that for me. Yes, well, I got it. This PlayStation was lifted. I've got, I've got a jet washer to finish off my thingy. Remember, I borrowed it, I had to give it back. Now you can tell he just wants his stuff gone. I'm going to click sold on that, I'll click search. Let's have a look at sold, ready? Watch. So 875, 400 brand new, 300 brand new. Ready? Probably nothing. 176 quid, pre owned. Pre owned 176 quid. Pink. <laughs> I knew it was good when I pointed it out because I didn't see it. I can't even touch it. It looks brand new inside as well. Them front parachute with 50p. Which ones? Them slip-ons. Yeah, so just bargains here, mate. I was like, what? Look at this. I don't think it might be a remake, though. What? That's, that's, that's legit. I was worried that's this, the pony this, one. This was, I'm not sure about that, though. It looks... What? Why would that be on there? Of course it is. Why wouldn't it be, your donkey? It's a size there. thing. Yeah. Rick, that's a Sanderson. That's probably 70 quid. Down this way. I mean, it's all, all over it's real. Yeah. All over it's 70 quid. Mate, please, I hope it's in there. Well, I've got to look because it's winding me up. Sealed, Rick, look. Is that a booklet? Oh, it's a booklet. I think it's new though, I don't think he's used it. I don't even know what it is. It's a design kit, you like design program, isn't it? Yeah. It's yeah, look at that, it's brand new. new. Oh, you can mate. You it's new as well. Yeah. What's the tool? I'll show you. 
it's got to be 400 quid then, hasn't it? 800 quid, there you go. 875, new software, America, 800 sold. Yeah. Why is that sold for that? Because someone's not done what they know what they put someone's on there, have they? On there, yeah. yeah, someone's just put it on what they think. 250. 31, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30. I'm going to go 600. Go on, what do you want to buy, mate? What do you want to buy? <laughs> no, there's a bit of a sale, I'm only joking. <laughs> you can have my stole on for free now. Open that boot for me, Rick. It's not it's 625 now. <laughs> Imagine if it's gone through like a catch. Oh, I'm covered in oil now, you bastard. Thank you. Bonjour, ça va? Hey, how's it going, mate? You alright? Good to see you. Uncle Matthew. So he's not here. No. I'm with what? the missus, okay, mate. Hello, you alright? Um, he's torn his Achilles heel. Oh, gross. He's just copying you, isn't he? I had a phone call on Thursday. Yeah, that's fine. I said, what are you doing at the weekend? I said, I'm busy from 6 o'clock. Oh, he wants you to do his stuff? To 6 o'clock at night. Yeah, I'm not paying no, that. So take that with one. you. That's why I asked what you was doing oh, yesterday. Oh, where's your stuff? Because I was going to throw you a tenner yeah. and say, come and pick me up and I'll come with you. Oh, I would have I would have done as well. I'm going to go find him. I'll catch up with you. Yeah, come back over and speak. Yeah. There we go. I need to go and get, I need to go and get the dregs first. Yeah. Or me. This. Hey, but I don't wear dresses anymore. Why not? Sunday. I lost my figure. Sunday, tell me about it. Lisa <laughs> and I are struggling with that. We keep eating cake. Yeah, that's, that's it's a the bit thing. Of a problem, to yeah, be fair. cake's a little bit lovely at the minute, isn't it? Yeah, well, we had one already this morning. I was like, can you just stop it? What, from here? Yeah. Where? Um, over in that door. In fact, la 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 la. Good morning, Richie. Hello, how are you? All right, thanks. How are you? Good. Where's Freddie? Oh, we've wandered around, do you know what it's like? Yes, yes, yes. Well. Oh, this is, this is my third boot today, I'm knackered. Well, I don't. Lovely condition. They're a lot of Thailand ones, aren't they? Yeah, lovely. Not my thing, uh, but, China. you know. Yeah, they done well. Yeah, no, he's, um, he's going okay. And you, you've done all right, have you? Over there. Smashing. Oh, well, this is Freddie's friend, you know, yeah, yeah, the internet. Right, again. That's my partner, Gareth. He, um, because we've always got, got you on the telly. He's always watching your <laughs> films. So we know you. <laughs> You're well, famous in our house. I've done a good deed this morning. What's that? Found a wallet full of cash and phone and handed it to Kath. I said, when they found me, I thought, if that's still there, I'm going to pick it up and hand it in. Someone's going to swipe that. Yeah. So I hand it in to Kath. Well, said, you're very honest. Good man. man. I'll, see, I'll see you again anyway. That was his <laughs> Would you do it for two pounds, please? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Would two fifty take it? Uh, I think it's worth three. You're stubborn, aren't you? Yeah, because I know how expensive they are. New with the cork handle, it's the cork because it's um, brick. You don't sweat. The I'll take it. It's a stick. Yeah. It's just ideal. Okay. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Whip the way the... Yeah, no, I'm stubborn. <laughs> I have £10 to get in now. You've got to sell an awful lot of junk, man. Hey, I, I'm not knocking that, I promise. Your job is to sell it for as much yeah. as you can. Mine is to try and get it for as least as there we you can. Go. What about I have to try and sell this? this is a... I, know somebody need, I, know so, I know somebody needs that. Thank you very much. Very nice to meet, nice you. To meet you. What's your sure. name on there? It's Andy. How are you doing? Yeah, good, good. He, he bought much? Yeah, I've got loaded up. You've done well. I came, um, I came not planning to buy anything. Was, uh, yeah. yeah, that's what happens, isn't it? Yeah, it's yeah. good. Yeah, I've not been yeah. here before, but it's, uh, it's really good. Oh, this is this is decent here. Yeah. Where are you from then? Thatcham. You've never been here? <laughs> no, no. That's bizarre. These, these are really good. I like them here. I didn't realise how it was so busy. Like the queue. It gets, it gets busy. Mad. You've got to get here half an hour early and get the front. Otherwise, oh, really? you're winding around the back. Is what it is. That's the key. Keep yeah. Well, keep keep doing what you're doing. Yeah, thank Love you, mate. Your I appreciate yeah. it. Thank you, dude. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. How much is the bag? <laughs> yeah, I'll say that, thank you. I hope that you be happier. Cut 
I'm trying to work. How old is it? It's quite old, isn't it? Yeah, it's quite old. Yeah. How much was it? Four, yeah. Let me see if it's going to fit the model. Would two pounds take it? Yeah, give it a bash for two. I've lost more on worse things yeah. in my life. <laughs> two pounds I can I can just about deal with. Four pounds, that's a big Mac meal that is. <laughs> there you go, I appreciate okay. that. Th 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 thanks for working with me, I appreciate it. There's a face I ain't seen for a while. Mm -hmm. Blue yeah. Peter. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Sorry, mate. I'm going to put this away. <laughs> My apologies. I reckon. Oh, mate, what's up? Any good? Uh, Tom's just gone. Just Has he left? Yeah. I've only just got here, man. Which one? Well, there you go. Yeah, you, you want to see it all together, doesn't it, I suppose? Would you take 15 just as a controller? What's that? Controller, just 15 pounds. I'd love to, but I, then I can't sell the yeah. console. How much is the console? 50 quid for everything. It's reset, I reset it back to the factory yesterday, it's been recurred. What is it, a 1 or 1S? One. Yes. Let's have a look. What's so good about the controller, Freddy? Mine in. That's the problem, isn't it? You'll learn quickly to stop smashing it with a 35 quid each. It's got a cable, it's HDMI. Reset it yesterday. What's that skin on it? Forza? I think so. Yeah. I just got, I got, I got another one at home and I just got too many pumps. I just bought a PS2 for some reason. So. Did they call it good for it? I just told someone I wouldn't. I'll do 45. He's mad, I've got it in my hands. Who does he think he is? I know, right? You're trying to buy it off you. We need more people to pick stuff up when they're interested. I'm going to have go. to give you money for selling it for me. It's the, um, it's the art of uh, thinking he's about to miss out. The art of FOMO. Nice, no, I need to control it. I've never heard of... Huon. Huon. Yeah. How much is this? What does it sell for? Uh, I paid 45 for it. The technology for that last rage, isn't it? There you go. Yeah, uh, he knew, he got scared. Amazing. If I'm interested, it means there's some dollar left in it, boy. Freddie, I'm going to carry around and lap him. Yeah, I'll I'll my friend's here as well. Yeah, I'll come back to you. <laughs> this, isn't, this isn't the back. That's the back. You winning? Yeah, I've got tickets and drills and stuff over there. Oh, yeah, yeah. I want no money there. What do you need? I don't know, I'm looking through it, yeah. Drop it back into the car. No, you've, only, you've only got two, two rows there, though. That's a car park up there. Oh, is it? You've got two rows to go. Come and do the last two rows. Just carry that. You've got two rows to go. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. He's already trying to figure out his next car boot, so I'm back. I'm done. I'm going to go and sort all my stuff out now. I'm going to go and work on getting rid of that massive pile. So I'll see you in there. It's been great to see you, Rick. He's a fucking miserable piece of <laughs> shit. Jesus wept. It has been a very busy couple of days and I am absolutely knackered. Got a WKD, froze it and made a slushy. It's, the, it's probably the, the second best thing in the world. Right. So I've had a friend come down this weekend and he picked me up, went back to my hometown. And we got a suit fitted for his wedding. I am his best man. Very inconvenient that he asked me to be his best man, but you've got to do what you've got to do, in ya? Anyway, right, I've had a fantastic time. Um, Rick, fantastic to see you. He's just gone back now, and we're going to link up again shortly. Not leave it too long next time. Should we get into the important bit? Should we get into the hall, shall we? I went charity shopping yesterday, actually, with him. I went to Holcott. I bumped into a staggering 11 people. When he got to four, I was like, that's a lot of people in one time. And I started counting. I got to 11 people. 11 people in one car boot sale. So to all of you that watch, thank you ever so much. It's very hard to keep track of everyone's names, of course. But I appreciate you coming over to say hello. It's not a problem. And I think I'm starting to learn to deal with it a lot better. Because before, I'd be like, what? Who? What? Who are you? 
now I just realise and understand when I'm on a car boot field, if a stranger speaks to me, it's because of the videos. So thank you ever so much, I appreciate it. And I, and I love you coming over, so please continue to do that. Well, we're gonna move into the hall first. I've got a bundle of stuff and I've got some very, 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 very good things. Any of you that are on my Instagram would have seen it before. Link is in the description down below. Come along and follow the Instagram journey. That's where I show most of my sales and my solds. They're both the same thing. And any other sort of weird eBay interaction, little weird messages to get things out. Come on over to Instagram. It's a party. Right. I thought we could come back then. No particular order. I am going to save what I believe to be the best till last. So I'm just going to start grabbing stuff and going from there. All right. First things first, I got mugged off by a pound today. Somebody gave me an old one. Suckers. Right, in no particular order, apart from the last one, a whisk. That's for myself. I like making a lot, a lot of whisks for coffee. Um, I picked up a Karcher. 15 quid. This is the Karcher K2 Compact. Paid 15 simply because 15's a bargain. I actually borrowed a... a uh, I borrowed a jet wash off a friend of ours the other day. He had, to give it, he had to have it back before I'd finish the job. Now I can finish the job in my own time, and then once I finish it, I'll flog it on. Or keep it. I've also done it, it on, actually, to be fair. Especially, I bought it for the business cash, so it's easier to set it on. So, yeah, £15. If I was to resell that, probably 30 quid as it is used. He used it once, and it looks like it's been used once as well. So, we deal with that. Well, I'm actually going to show you this. Oh, no, I can't show this guy's bundle. I'll show this guy's bundle last. I'll show it last because it was crazy what happened. Two pound for this. This is a Sony digital terrestrial receiver. So like a uh, free view box. Paid two pound for that. It's boxed, has the controller. Uh, it's in really nice condition. Uh, the solds are all over the place. They, they range from between like uh, 10 pounds to like 75 pounds pre-owned. So obviously that scope is bizarre. So you need to look at that, but I paid two quid for it and it's boxed. Uh, anything box Sony like this, and it's like under a fiver, I'm taking it. Picked up this Bergal 650 down jacket, pink ladies. It was in great condition until I put it in my boot of my car, slammed the car boot on it, and now it's got a black mark on it. It's an, it's, a, it's obviously oil because it's the hydraulic from the boot. Really annoyed about that. Otherwise, fantastic condition. Paid two pound for it, or three pound. I'm not sure what I was videoing at the time. Um, you would have seen it all before now anyway. I would have looked, I haven't looked at the video yet. Still working from the day. What is that? Oh, what is that? Is that one of them like fake sweet corn things that the Americans have? Anyway, somebody's managed to get £56 for one of those pre owned, so I'd imagine around about the 40 quid mark, especially with that mark on it now. Very, very frustrating because it never had it when I bought it. Uh, paid 15 quid, basically £5 a jacket. It wasn't, it was like 10 plus 5 plus 8 or something. I managed to get three for 15 on this Gantt. 3XL like like long coach jacket. So I'm getting notifications on my phone. Long coach jackets. So I paid £15 for that one. Let's say five reach. I paid £5 for that one. Uh, a 3XL Timberland Gilet. And then this uh, ladies Armani crop jacket. This has feels like it's down. Feels like it's got feathers. Fedarios. Uh lining polyester. Body filler, 80% duck down, 20% feather. So five pound each jacket. This needs a little bit of a clean to be fair, but I would predict um, anywhere between 30 to 50 on the Gantt, depending on condition, um, 20 to 30 on the Timberland Gelee, and maybe about the same for the duck down Armani. It is Armani Exchange, so it's the cheapest, sort of cheaper side of things, but, Oh, 15 pound for those three is an absolute bargain paid a pound for this but it's in poor condition well i say poor it's just dirty but it's also made out of wool so i've got to be careful while i'm trying to while i'm trying to clean it so i mean it's got like stains on the inside um and just marks all over but it's a nice cause varsity jacket extra gold i don't i don't reckon it's worth too much but I paid a pound. Dry clean only. No, nope, I'm not dry cleaning that. Extra large. Key design. Made in England in Leicester. 68% wool. I'm not going to dry clean it. 
I'm, I'm just going to stick it in the, for a quid. I'm going to stick it in the washing machine on a soft wash and risk it for that. It cost me a pound. Let's see how we get on with it. Uh, this is pretty dope. I brought this and this. So we've got a Lacoste Sport track jacket. Lacoste fell up down here. It's a size six, which I think is a large, extra large in the cost. It's a vintage, well, I say vintage, like early 2000s. Has lost a bit of elasticity in the arms, but I paid seven pound in total for that. Plus this TN nylon polyester t-shirt. Yeah, decent, this is 2XL, polyester nylon. Nice colorway, fantastic condition. She wanted five and, no, she wanted, she wanted like seven, eight, seven and three or something like that, I can't remember, no, six and three, I can't remember what it was. I got it all for seven in the end. That's that's a banger. That is, it's in great condition. 2016 EV Pokemon folder. I have to have a look into it, but it was fifty pence. Some pink Converse size seven. Hopefully Emma doesn't like pink because that's her size. Four pounds paid. I should imagine around about twenty five quid back. I know they're in good condition. Need a little bit of a wipe down, of course, but it, it it's used clothing. Some Wrangler Chelsea boot type things. These were two or three pound. Uh, not the worst condition at all. You know, they're used. They've been used, but not the worst condition. Maybe 15 to 20 back. Not bad for three quid. Picked up this head bag. I paid two pound for it. Uh, head Prime Brand Hardcore Hero ATB series. Paid three pound or two pound for that which I'm very happy with. It's a nice bag, it's decent. Doesn't go as good as the Monte Carlo bags. But um, just quickly while I'm off track, I went to her chat shop after and found another one. This is slightly different. This is a seven miles high global one, but I paid five quid for that. But I saw it in there, so I had to grab it. So I'll add that to today's list. I should imagine maybe 25, 30 quid a bag, give or take. I could be absolutely capping, but just off the top of my head, I imagine that's what they're gonna sell for. They're nice bags. They've got to be early, maybe mid 90s, those ones. Oh, we've got a Swiss voice. These go quite well, to be fair. I think I paid a pound for this. It's like a telephone, nice little sort of like modernistic, sleek uh, design. Paid a pound for that, and I paid two pound for this Google thing from the same guy. This should get me 18 quid back straight away. Google Home, Google Nest, whatever you call it. Should be 18 quid on that one. And that, paper. and that red one, I can't find I can't find that colourway. I can find all white and I can find all red. But this one's a mix of both. It's obviously a nice little two-tone contrast. But I'd imagine about 25. Hopefully if the colourway is really sought after, a little bit more. But I don't really know. Uh, this was £2. Never seen it before, but it was all brand new and sealed in the box. I had a quick look. It's called an Aquamag Plus. It basically uh, eliminates lime scale problems with the amazing Aquamag Plus. So it's to sort of like um, sort out and fix like lime scale in your pipes and stuff. I'd imagine it sort of pumps things through every now and then and stops the build up. But brand new and sealed, somebody got new other, somebody got 49.99 or 48. Um, yeah, this is completely sealed in there. Everything's all new in there. The box does open, but it's all new. I paid two pounds, so I'm hoping for a nice close to 50 quid return on that. It'd be fantastic, wouldn't it? power bank thing it has like a real sort of minecrafty kind of thing design you can just move these bits around and personalize them and whatever else nothing i don't, I don't really know the whole idea of it. that's what she was telling me but maybe there's a reason that they're in that sort of shape and stuff but it's a usb power bank so you plug this in i've got one over there you plug this in and it's got one two three four usb slots in there that you can run things on so you could like i don't know run your, your phones off it or something I bought something off her for four quid and she was giving me the change. I asked how much it was. I said a pound, so what you take that as well then. Oregon Scientific, this is a heart rate monitor thing that you strap to your chest and wrist, apparently. Paid 150 for that. Don't know what they're worth. Maybe 15 to 20. I could be lying. That was in a 50p box. It's like a peacock jeweled enameled mirror. Hello. Folds that down, that folds in this way my pal who was here was trying to fold it the other way and i almost slapped him 
Someone's got one listed for 9 99 It's not too much, but it's in a 50p box, so I took a punt. Um, Californian Raisins. It's the lady with the high heels. It's got She's posable. She's got sticker pads on her arm, so you stick it into the window of a car. This is 1988 by Applause. Now, I've got something else with the day by Applause. No, what was it? That was the Pokemon Blastoise. This is 1988. Licensed by Applause. Licensed him. Yeah, these are, these are the Californian Raisins. Some of them are quite collectible. No idea what this one's worth, but I could leave it behind for 30p, could I? That's to come back with me. We've got this Made in USA uh, vintage Philadelphia Phillies cap. It's a nice one. King Park will be very jealous of this one, I'm sure. Yeah, I love that. What other hat as well? I don't know where that is. I'll show you if I can find it. Found it. There it is. PS2 hat for your faces. Cool. Where is it? Not sure, I'm not about to find it. My hair's gone wild today. My hair's gone nuts all day. Finally picked this up. I zoomed in on it on a video once I was doing, and I was like, oh my God, I've missed it, blah, 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 blah. Don't care, I uh, went back and got it at 50p. It's a game controller for Sega, Atari, MSX, Commodore, and Amstrad. Just, just changes the grip of things, I should imagine. <laughs> Sockets, so we've got a double two gang two way. This is a double, so light switch, double plug. We've got single plug, and we've got like a Wi Fi, I think, satellite Wi Fi. He wanted that's annoying, he's got prices on them. He wanted three quid each. I worked it out, I said, I'll have a tenner for the whole lot. I ended up paying him 13. What's here? One, two, three, nine, ten, ten. So one pound thirty each I paid. It's not too shabby, is it? Hey, eh? I'll take it. I've just found this. I'm going to put a screenshot up here because what I need to show you is in there. I actually found one of those backwards compatible PlayStation threes. Um, this is a quick picture here because it was I was testing it and it's fine. It's working fine. She wanted ten pound for it. Um, I said. I had a look around and I found this doorbell thing. Didn't know if it didn't know was it didn't even check. I just said, Will you do £10 with this? She said yes. This is brand new and sealed, an Avantech doorbell kit. It sells for £34 brand new, which is what this is inside. The PlayStation itself has had a 500 gigabyte hard drive update upgrade. It hasn't been opened up before. Jack told me there's a hard drive slot on there, and if I had to remember rightly, I think it's on the side and you push it in or you pull the tab. I could be getting mixed up with the Microsoft. Anyway, it's got a 500 gigabyte hard drive in it. It's the backwards compatible, so it runs PS1, PS2, and PS3. Tested it working. So that owes me a fiver, really, because I paid. I bought two items for ten pound, fiver each. So yeah, I'm not too sure, not too sure what I'm going to get back on that. Somebody is knocking them out for 179.99, and he sold 44 of them. So I don't know. Maybe I wait till he runs out if he runs out or not. I think I can get more. We'll have to see what I mean. Picked up this bag. It's by Signair. It's not a designer or anything, but it's got like Royal Ascot, Grand National, Cheltenham. It's got all sort of the horsey bits on there. So I thought I'll grab that simply because even just a design alone would sell it. So I picked up that and these here. Bear me a second. Oh, this garage is getting full again. I need to work on getting some of this stuff listed. So I bought these. These are chairs. I've got two of these. Carry by the handle. They fold up. They're like really low laying garden chairs. So they're not like high set. They're like loungers. Oh, my finger caught then. Oh, there we go. What plonker. Undo the pins first, shall we? Pull that out. And there we go. They're like garden chairs, but they're like low loungers. That pin's in there, so it stays in place. Just like so. Can't do it with one hand. That pin's in place. But yeah, low lounges, you can carry them by a handle, they're in good condition, they're modern, so they're not they're not like vintage ones. But I paid six pounds for two of these plus that little horsey bag thing. Horsey bag! Who makes them? There's a brand there, is that a brand? John Lewis, that's nice. Um yeah, happy with that. I bought another Lexi, uh, Lecky or Lecky walking stick, hiking sticks. 
she wouldn't budge on three pound i tried my best but she would not move at all whatsoever so i had to uh had to pay the three quid so i've got a 30 odd pound for these before lucky hiking stick three pound hopefully 25 to 30. this was in the 50p bin that was it i bought this plus whatever that that little thing there with the fold out mirror um saddle because sometimes some saddles can do really well this is a uh, velo components nothing spectacular i think it's about 15 quid in that take it for 50p wouldn't you hey i'll show you the clothes i'm about to show you the bundle that i got off that guy aren't i now yeah i think that's it but let me get this little bundle together so i can show you what i picked up off this guy we've got an n64 steering wheel bundle pack and i've never seen one before so i picked it up it wanted 20 well, this is what I mean. It's bizarre. I, could, I reckon I could have got everything for nothing. So, he wanted 20 for... He goes, I said, how much is that, mate? He goes, well, I'm asking 20, but you can have it for a tenner. I was like, all right. And then I said, how much is this? Because it was right next to it. We'll come back to this. We'll come back to this. So, how much is that? He said, fiver. So, I was like, we take 12 for both? He said, yep. Didn't even question it. Right, we'll come back to that little box up there. Then I saw this Optoma projector. It wanted 30 quid for it. It's got a, it's got a screen just there as well. Um, it wanted 30 pound for it. And I said, I'll give you 20. I could have given him way less because he went, yep. Yeah. I think if I said 10, he'd have took it. It's in mint condition. All the wires, all the leads are in there. The remote. Well, this looks barely been used, if I'm honest with you. He said it was used once. I believe him, to be honest with you, as well. I don't think it was his stuff. I think he was, like, selling it for somebody. So I saw that. And then um, this... Leopard Active Lifestyle. It's brand new. It's never been used. It's all, it's all in the box. Um, I say brand new. It's not brand new. It's old stock. Paid him. 23, I think. 23 for that. So I want to pay 23 plus 12. Where is it? For like, for like 40 quid. Like 40, 35 quid. 35 quid for everything. 35 quid for everything. Now, somebody has got this lamp listed for £22 starting bids. They haven't had a bid yet. Who knows what it's worth, but I can't find anything other than that. But it's great. It's basically a big, strong light and torch and flash. I don't know, there's loads of stuff going on with it. The Optoma, people are getting up to £200 for, pre-owned. So like £150 plus, £179. That's without the projecting screen. I've got a projecting screen. Let's look at that actually and see if it's, I don't know, a special projecting screen. If that makes any sense at all. I'm sure it's just a projector. Luxburg. So I've got to do some research into that as a brand on there. I imagine you just do that. There you go. It's a different brand to the projecting screen, so it's obviously not, doesn't come with it. It's obviously an added extra, I should imagine. Um, the GameCube thing, I'm looking probably about 30 quid back for that. I'm hoping. So I paid 35 for everything, remember? Now this. Oh my God. If you thought the Stone Island was good, I got I picked up a Stone Island yesterday, with, amongst other stuff, but I only shared that on Instagram. Link is down below, you're missing out. Picked up a stone island yesterday. Um, legit. This has just topped that. Didn't think I could top it. It is a brother. It's for like embroidery. So it's software for embroidery printers, needlework. 2010 this one came out. Pre-owned, they're going for like £150 plus. That was on bids. So you're looking at like £200 for pre-owned. Nuts. This one's brand new. Again, I'm saying brand new. Everything inside is sealed. The box is open. But everything inside... The CD, everything is sealed, never used. <sighs> so, these retailed for over a thousand dollars. 
For some reason, they're commanding almost the same money now. People are getting like eight and a half hundred dollars, eight and a half hundred pounds, like nearly nearly a thousand dollars pre-owned, uh, used, new. Somebody actually is still getting a thousand and ninety-eight dollars new, and he sold three of them so far. Uh, I've listed this one for a whopping seven hundred ninety-nine pound plus postage because I believe this is going to go GSP, so they're going to pay a whack load of postage. I might as well get my bit of postage. Um, on top, I'm going to send it special delivery, of course, because I think it's up to 500 insured, and then you can add a bit extra for the rest. Um, absolute find of the day. I'll put some screenshots up here so you can see just how new and sealed it is. Uh, very, very happy. Now, I've got to be honest with you, I did not know the value of this when I first picked it up, but I just knew that it had some value more than the £3 or £2 that I managed to get it for. Uh, it wasn't until I was walking around had a quick research, so I was like, Rick, it's my friend, same name, weird, um, another Rick, not the rock up, come look at this, yeah, did really, really well, so there you can see what it is there, that flower there is embroidered on a thing, so if you're a business owner, nine times out of ten, it's going to be a business owner that'll buy this, and they'll just put it for as a business expense, and they'll buy it off the business card, company card, or whatever they do, um, and you get no dramas from it, so I'm very happy with that. Of course I'm happy with it. Rick thought I was being ungrateful. He's like, you've had a great weekend. I was like, it's okay. I'm full time in this. I need to be doing this. I need to be making, I need to find those things all the time. And I think that's it. I think that's all I can show you from today's pickups. Um, Rick, he did fantastic. He did very, very well. Picked up some really good bills, some really good. In fact, he picked up a bunch of Yankee candles from uh, Boredom. He's one, he was one row ahead of me. Uh, I think he paid like, £80 for all of them, plus a chair, plus some batteries or something. Geese have definitely been robbing. He hasn't, I'm sure. But yeah, that's all my stuff. Um, I had to get this video out because I now need to clear this stuff and get all of this processed and listed. I've actually listed the CD thing, of course. I wanted to get that into the marketplace as quick as possible. Lot of stone on and I listed that yesterday as well. I had to get that into market as quick as possible. Yeah, I'll have a quick little look at it. I need to get a new chair. But yeah, I think that's gonna be it for today. Thank you ever so much for sticking by another stupidly long video. But it is what it is. When you're doing three car boot sales in a haul at the end, the videos are gonna be long. Listen, thank you ever so much for joining me for another video. I hope you bagged some bargains this week. I've done particularly well. I haven't done well until it's sold otherwise, let's face it. But I picked up some good stuff. And that's what most of it's about, isn't it? It's the thrill in the hunt. Take care, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.